from Columbus, Ohio. This is the Get Business Credit YouTube channel with your host, Josh Van Horn. Subscribe now and hit the bell notification right now to stay up to date as soon as we release new business credit gems. Take it over, Josh. Hey, what is up, YouTube? Welcome to the Get Business Credit YouTube channel. My name is Joshua Van Horn. For those that don't know, I'm the founder and CEO of Get Business Credit LLC. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the thumbs up on the video. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. But I'm sure most of you guys already know me. This video, I'm going to be doing a quick demo of my one-on-one -on -one business credit mentorship client portal so you guys can know what to expect if you are able to be qualified for my one-on-one -on -one business credit mentorship. I would say I get 10 to 15 people a day contacting me to join my one-on-one -on -one business credit mentorship. However, I'm very selective on who I accept, who I can qualify, because the goals need to be aligned and need to be realistic expectations. So I am very selective on who I accept. This isn't an overnight quick fix, just get 100,000 in a week time. I do have students that joined the one-on-one -on -one business credit mentorship and got 100, 200,000 in the first week. However, that is not the norm. Most people that contact me, they just started their business, their pre-revenue. So there's a lot of prerequisites that need to be done. And that's where my one-on-one -on -one business credit mentorship comes in. You don't need to go after what 99% of YouTubers and people on Facebook groups say get 80 paid X score, get Sunbelt rentals, get all these starter vendors. In 2024, that does not work for one. The underwriters can see right through it. Be productive. Don't waste your time. Go after the right credit lines that you need to go after and the right trade lines as well. For those that don't know who I am, I would suggest you go back and watch some of my old videos, even though I cringe at those videos because I didn't have a good webcam or good camera at all. I was shy back then. That was like five years ago. But things came a long ways. I was very successful prior to the YouTube channel. I only started the YouTube channel by mistake. And I'll get into that during our one-on-one -on -one phone consultation. If you happen to reach out to me, the numbers below there, 937-423-9954. It's my personal cell phone number. Please don't call it because I will not answer. Just text and say you're interested in a one-on-one -on -one phone consultation to see if we could possibly work together and I can qualify you. My lowest mentorship is 12 weeks. It goes from 12 weeks, 16 weeks, 26 weeks, and 52 weeks. Majority of my students are on 16 or 26 weeks. Let's be realistic. If you listen to people on YouTube saying get 80 paydex score, 90 Intel score, scores don't matter. Okay, I'll make that very clear. Scores will not help you get this. Okay, those are all different business cards that I have, and over half of them are no PG. Scores won't do anything. If you think go getting 10, 20 trade lines is important and you want to chase those scores and waste all that money, have at it, but I'm sure you won't get a proof or anything worthwhile. Do you want packaging tape, cardboard boxes type trade lines? Go do that if that's what you need. But if you need real funding, you need to take advice from somebody that's been there, done it. I've been doing this since 2003, my own personal businesses, and I've sold several successful businesses, not in the six figures and the seven figures. And all this is public data that anybody can look up. That's why I've always been transparent. I don't hide anything besides my social security number. But if you look at other YouTubers talking about business credit, they just show you a website how to apply for something, but they don't really give you data points. They don't tell you the things I tell you. They don't actually show the proof. They can't show a road flex card. They can't show you a fuel man card, universal premium MasterCard. Just those cards alone, I bought three houses, three duplex houses with. If you know how to liquidate them, these gas cards, you can do amazing things. You have to know what to, what you're doing with this. Toolbox and other FinTech. Visa card. That's not even counting like the traditional Mayor Express cards, but like this. This is what you get being invite only Centurion Black American Express. Get my camera right here. I've had to mask things out, but 
here let me pull it out there you go my camera to focus here that's the satyrium black and white only card when you get that card you're gonna get like this nothing too pretty just some little pamphlets but whenever i fly i'm gonna have a five hundred thousand dollar vehicle pick me up at the airport and it doesn't cost me anything and that's just a little perk and really this card's a flex card more than anything because I'm really cheap. I don't really have benefit from it myself. I don't travel a lot, so, but it's proof in the pudding, right? I have all these cards. How I got those are all just really in the last five years. Do I have good credit? Yes, I have in the 800s. However, it wasn't always that case. And half of those cards were not personally guaranteed they're fintech cards if you know how to leverage gas cards and fintech cards you can literally turn ten thousand dollars into a million dollars on line of credit why get a business line of credit that or a business loan that is say 18 percent apr and origination fees even if you have an 800 FICO score and you get a $100,000 loan, unless it's an SBA loan, you're probably going to pay 130, 140,000. It's going to cost you 30 or 40,000 dollars for that loan. You don't need to pay anything. The most you'd have to pay is maybe three to four percent using certain strategic methods that I only teach on my mentorship. And I'm the only one that I know of that I've ever seen that's publicly endorsed by Experian Business Credit. Proof is in the pudding right here. Great video, Josh like the new format very clear present thanks for creating this content joshua and this is a couple years ago i haven't been so active on youtube and i don't do this for myself this is a hundred percent everything that comes in for the channel goes to the michael j fox foundation for parkinson's research most of you guys know i have early onset parkinson's i've done some clinical trials and i've got better but if you look back to say two or three years ago my speech, motor, there's a lot of issues that I had back then. I'm blessed and I just try to give back. But this is my way to be able to raise for a charity and not have to necessarily touch my nest egg for my family and my other businesses. I have other businesses. Anyways, that being said, I want to show you guys my one-on-one -on -one business credit mentorship client portal on what you can expect if you were to join my mentorship and again even if you 100 of you guys contact me today maybe only one or two of you i would accept i don't accept everybody okay i'm very selective on who i accept that's why you won't find one negative review about me online after having 400 plus students there's a reason for that i'm very selective on who i accept you have to be dedicated spend at least one hour of your time per week it can be three o'clock in the morning three o'clock in the afternoon, it doesn't matter. You can do it at your own pace, but I assign custom tasks for you weekly based on your particular goals and your situation, okay? Everybody's business is different. Doesn't matter if you and Tom or you and Jenny both started a transportation business at the same exact time. Unless you're in the same city and you have the same address, same FICO score, everybody's goals are different too. So anyways, let's go over to the client portal real quick. So this is the registration. If I approve you, I'm going to tell you to go here. It takes five seconds. You register your uh, first name, your business name, and your email address. You don't need to put website or comments. Just hit submit, and then we'll go from there. But that's only after I tell you to do that. Then once you are accepted into the client portal, or my one-on-one -on -one business credit mentorship, you're going to come to this page after you have your username and password. This is where you're going to do the intake form. This is the intake form. It's in a form. It's embedded, and that's for security purposes, the way I have it. And it doesn't ask for social security number or anything like that. It's just your business name, the basic information, your EIN. I do report to the business credit bureaus, Equifax, and Credit Safe or as a business service trade line just like nab e-credible fair figure that's it it's not going to be reporting a trade line for a credit line things like that it's just going to be as a business service as a data furnisher 
and I'm asking questions, business start date. And the reason I'm asking all this information is because I'm going to do a in-depth full audit on your business credit reports, not just your business credit reports, but secondary databases, citations, directories, what the underwriters are actually looking for. That's what the underwriters look for during KYC process. Know your client. And manual underwriters, they will actually look all the fintechs. They're going to Google your name. They're going to look for your website. It can't be a crappy website. can't be a Fiverr website. I look for all this during the audit process. Typically, it takes me about 24 hours. Then I come up with custom tasks based on where I see everything. I know from underwriters, I'm friends with a lot of underwriters. I know exactly what they're looking for. Knowing as somebody that's got all these cards and all these approvals, and then knowing the underwriting process and what the underwriters see, because I can actually see exactly what the underwriters see, that combined, it really does help leveraging and increase your chances for approval. But I'm not going to have you just go after anything. And I don't accept anybody. Just if you call me right now, I'll tell you, don't waste my time. If you're calling me and say you want to join my mentorship to get 50 or 100 or 500,000, if you're looking to get a certain dollar amount, don't waste your time. Go to somebody else and they can rip you off or whatever. I'm not going to tell you what you want to hear. It's just not how I work. I only want to deal with people that are dedicated to not only get business credit lines, but to learn how business credit works. Because after my mentorship, I want you to apply yourself and turn, say, 500,000 into 5 million in business credit. And you can do that without me as long as you listen to what I tell you that first, say, 12 weeks, 16 weeks, 26 weeks, whatever you decide to do. But I, you have to be dedicated literally at least one to two hours of your time per week. It's not a set time because a lot of my students, they do it at their own pace that's why i built this client portal that's why i'm showing you the demo but there's tasks to do after you do that i'll do the audit and then you're gonna see tasks like this and it's not necessarily every student doesn't get the same task it's not like you sign up and then you just get all this this is not a course it's one-on-one -on -one, right so i'm only gonna sign it to you if i feel that you need it or i didn't see that you already have it Okay, so like everybody needs to be listed on the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. You should be listed with the Chamber of Commerce and your own actual charter, whether it be Greenville, Ohio, Columbus, Ohio, whatever. Wherever you're at, you need to be listed. And no other YouTuber talks about this. I'm not even really a YouTuber, I should say. I look at myself more of a, as a professor, and I'll be arrogant. There's nobody smarter when it comes to business credit than myself. I'll be arrogant to say that anybody can prove me otherwise, but <clears throat> I talk about things that nobody else talks about. Proof is in the pudding. It's all there, but this is just a task. And yes, it's not telling you to apply for a business credit line, but these are foundation steps that I tell you to do say week one, week two. That doesn't mean I'm not going to have you apply for something, a credit line and week one, I will, but it all depends where you're at in your situation. Everybody is in a different stage. You might have NAV, you might have Uline, you might already have Divi or Bill or Ramp. That's what the intake audit is all about. I'm looking at everything that typically takes me about 24 hours based on all that information and looking at your rich filmographic data, what's lacking on your Experian report, all your reports combined, but Experian is what's the most important. If you're trying to get financial trade lines, financial credit lines, Experian is the most important. Okay, so that's what I focus the most on for all my students. I have some students, they only get 50,000 in their mentorship. I have other students that's got as much as 1.7 million just in literally 120 days. But it's not an overnight process by any means. So if you're looking for a quick fix or overnight process, please don't waste my time. Don't waste your time. It's not gonna happen. And anybody that tells you they can get you like that much or whatever it's they're just telling you what they want you to hear it's not realistic though but so there's manta here let's see here these are just different examples but let's get to a credit line right what i'm telling you about a credit line 
So Parker card, high limit. So I'm breaking down exactly in the client portal. If I'm assigning this to you, I'm telling you why I want you to apply for it, what it's good for, like the Parker card. You get If you're in e-commerce, you can get this card. I'm not going to assign this to you if you're, say, in trucking because they're not going to approve you. But the Parker card gives you 60 days to pay, and they give you very high limits. But they typically only work with people that are in some type of e-commerce, Shop, your Shopify store or Amazon, eBay, like that. But I'm telling you exactly what you need to do. I'm not going to show you the bottom, but the bottom is where I typically will tell you the tips on what you need to put in certain fields on the application to improve your chances of approval. But there's no lying, just you need to know what to put in certain fields, right? Especially if you're pre-revenue, especially if you're pre-revenue. But then say the Naven travel credit card, I break it down and I tell you to go to this link and I made a tutorial. And I tell you exactly how to fill out the application, creditjosh.link, forward slash Naven. I break it down, an actual tutorial, telling you click here. For those that are not so computer illiterate, I make it very easy, telling you click the work email, put your email address, so forth and so on. And it goes down from there, breaking everything down very easy. So you don't have to waste time spending 10, 20 hours a week watching my past content you can do that if if it's not a situation where you're able to afford the mentorship right i would still advise you to do that if you can't afford the mentorship watch my old videos and you can still achieve the same results but not everybody has all that time to spend that's what my mentorship really is for those that don't have that time right so those that don't have the time I do the audit i know exactly after the consultation what you're trying to achieve short-term and long-term goals and we correct all that anything that's an issue your rich demographic data we get everything ready for the underwriters the very first month the second month that's when we start applying for the really mid-tier credit lines i don't use tier one tier two tier three i don't believe in that my very first approvals starting the channel with a brand new llc to prove a point were so-called tier two and tier three i got approved for those very first so i don't believe in all that it really comes down to the rich filmographic data on your business credit reports that's what's very important along with some other checks so all that needs to be taken care of so if you have say a postal address or this address and then you're got certain trade lines, but then you can't get any worthwhile funding. That's why there's problems or you can't be listed with the national telecom databases, spectrum, Comcast, Verizon, T-Mobile. You need to be listed on all these different databases that you can't normally get listed without knowing how to get those listed. Okay. So there's just so many more complex steps and there's so much bad information being put out there by other YouTubers because they're benefiting from you signing up for these BS starter vendors because they're getting paid $40, $50 for each time that any of you guys click on those and sign up for these starter vendors. But these starter vendors don't actually report at all. They just take your money and they don't report, period. I know that for a fact. They don't report. Red Spectrum's one. Sumo Office Supplies, Strategic Network Solutions, the list goes on and on. There's too many to name. Those are all scam companies. And those company CEOs can try to contact me, contact my lawyer in Miami, Florida. It's fine. Go ahead, go after me. But it's the truth. They're not good companies. They're taking advantage of the fact that business credit is not federally regulated. Personal credit is, business credit is not. So a lot of these different starter vendors can get away with a lot of BS scamming in a sense because they don't have to necessarily, they're within a gray line just saying that it's going to help you build your business credit. What, as a reference, credit limits aren't even reported to the business credit bureaus unless it's an actual credit card from a major financial institution. 
or just because you get a two thousand dollar credit limit from Sunbelt Rentals or two thousand dollar Summa Office Supplies credit limit, that two thousand isn't being reported to the bureaus. Only the balance. But Strategic Network Solutions, Summa Office Supplies, they don't report at all. They've been banned by all the bureaus. So just keep that in mind. There's just so much fluff and BS out there, and other content creators like to use the word God a lot to get money out of you. They tell you what you want to hear. I'm not going to name names, but there's several of them. You can just see the dates when I release content and then pretty much everybody else copies off of me. It's just the way it is. I don't have all that fancy video editing and all that. I am, which is what you get at the end of the day. So. Anyways, I showed you guys the client portal. You can see how I break things down. I'll go over it more in detail once we do a one-on-one -on -one phone consultation. Just text me yeah, over there, 937-423-9954. When this video is released, doesn't matter. Don't feel bad if you're going to text me, say, at 12 midnight your time. I'm actually in the Philippines, so I'm 12 hours, 13 hours ahead of you, possibly 16 hours ahead of you. It depends. But just text me. If I'm not available, I'll text you as soon as I get back in the office and we can go from there uh, and schedule a consultation and see if you'd be a good fit or not for my one-on-one -on -one business credit mentorship. Anyways, with all that being said, you guys take care. Give the video a thumbs up. I appreciate each and every one of you guys that are loyal subscribers. And I'm sure a lot of you guys that are watching are my students. And I appreciate each and one of you guys as well. Drop a comment as well. Uh, we go from there. Anyways, you guys take care again. Love you all. Thanks again for all the support.